16th question from the digital SAT test one module two is from the blue book app the harder set of math questions and number 16 reads a graph of 7x plus 2y equals negative 31 the xy plane has an x-intercept of a0 and y intercept of 0b where a and b are constants the value of b over a so one thing that you could do is you can just throw it into desmos and if i throw it into desmos boom there it is here's the equation here's my line and I'm looking at, when I'm looking at A0 and 0B, I'm looking at the intercepts. And it asked me for B over A. So the B was the Y intercept. If I just click on that, oh, I'm a little over there. It's 0, negative 15.5. So over here, I could put, I'm not going to put negative 15.5 actually. I'm going to put 15.5. Why am I going to do that? Because both of these are negative, so I'm going to have a negative over a negative. It's going to turn positive anyway. Then I'm looking at, boom, there's my x-intercept, negative 4.429. So down below, I put 4.429. Again, positive because it's a negative over a negative. Now on the SAT, you're given five places to bubble in. So what would you bubble in? 3.4996. Actually, you know what? That's going to round off to 3.5. So we just bubble in 3.5 and move on. Actually, if you bubbled in 3.499, which would take up every space, then you'd actually be marked wrong. Now, you are allowed to cut off a decimal, but the only reason it didn't give me 3.5 is because 4.429 is approximation and not the exact. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to also show you a couple ways you can do it by hand. One's a shortcut, which might not make exact sense to you, and the other is a longer way of doing it, but will also work out for you. So when you're in this form, when you're in standard form of the linear equation, 7x plus 2y equals negative 31, and it's asking you here, essentially what it's asking you is the y-intercept over the x-intercept. It's going to have an inverse relationship with the coefficient of that. So in other words, if you're in the form of ax plus by equals c and it's 7x plus 2y equals negative 31 then in order to get now i'm talking about b over a meaning b is your y intercept over your x intercept then what you could actually do in this form is you could put a over b so 7 over 2 boom is your answer um, now, again, that might not make perfect sense to you, but what we're going to do now is we're going to do it long form by hand, and I'm going to show you that it works. Actually, I suppose I'll just leave that there to show that it works. So first off, if it's A0, then this is your X and your Y. So in place of X, I'm going to put A. So it becomes 7 times A plus 2 times 0 equals negative 31. To do that work 7a equals negative 31 divide both sides by 7 and your a equals negative 31 over 7. do the same with the with the y intercept which is 0b now we've got 7 times 0 plus 2 times b equals negative 31 well if 7 times 0 is just 0 that's gone divide both sides by 2 and you can say that b equals negative now, since it's asking for B over A, your B is, I'm going to move over here, your B is negative 31 over 2, and your A is negative 31 over 7. So you might know that every fraction just division problem is the same as negative 31 over 2 divided by negative 31 over 7. And when you're dividing fractions, you're multiplying by the second reciprocal negative 31 over 2 times 7 over negative 31. Now, I could multiply the tops across. I could multiply the bottoms across. But when you're multiplying, negative 31 times 7 on the top is the same as 7 times negative 31 on the top. You're going to get the same result. And if the 7 were over 2 and the negative 31 were over the negative 31, they just cancel. So in other words, you could cancel across when you're multiplying. And voila, again, you get your 7 over 2. So you've got three ways to solve this question. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You could share it with someone who has 
difficulty with uh, these intercept questions or doesn't know the shortcut that I just showed you or doesn't know, hey, the formula goes goes. If there's any question you'd like to answer from any official PSAT, SAT, or BCT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out that one minute video on TikTok. Have a great day.